In today's show, bullishness for Bitcoin continues despite its struggle to reclaim that 60K resistance. In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest technical analysis as the bulls look to flip 60K from resistance into support. Checking out the latest from Max Kaiser, he tweeted, ultimately, Bitcoin's price can only get to multi-trillion dollar valuations if the US dollar gets destroyed. This is a feature, not a bug. The US dollar funds terrorism and drug lords globally. Bitcoin promotes peace and love. Also in today's show, Elon Musk holds $5 billion in Bitcoin, according to Skybridge Capital's Anthony Scaramucci. He says Elon's $1.5 billion purchase is just the tip of the iceberg, and he recently shared in this tweet, Elon Musk didn't stop with Tesla. I understand that SpaceX owns Bitcoin on its balance sheet. Elon Musk owns over $5 billion in Bitcoin via Tesla, SpaceX, and personally. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. And back in August, Tika Twari made a prediction that Bitcoin would hit between sixty and $70,000 sooner than people realize. Quoting him from a Zoom call he had back in August, we're in maybe the second half of just the first inning of this bull market. You're going to see Bitcoin reach sixty or $70,000. And lo and behold, he was accurate as the new all-time high is currently just above 60000 with $70,000 in play. And he also made this prediction back in August. You will see cryptocurrencies with multi-trillion dollar market caps, like how you see the stocks like Amazon and Apple with multi-trillion dollar market caps. In 2016, Tika picked Bitcoin when it was trading at just $428 which went on to become the world's first trillion dollar coin. Now, Tikatwari believes he discovered the next trillion dollar coin. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and most of the major altcoins are in the green. But where's Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this, plus so much more in today's show. Hey, what's good, cryptopreneurs? This is first and foremost a video show. So if you want the full premium experience, visit our YouTube channel at CryptoNewsAlerts.net. Again, that's CryptoNewsAlerts.net. And real quick, before I kick off today's show, today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, BlockFi, where you can put your crypto to work and earn up to 8.6% APY with a BlockFi interest account. There's a special promo going on right now where you can get up to $250 as a crypto bonus for free with a deposit of $25 or more in crypto. To take advantage of this, visit my direct referral link, which is BlockFi.com forward slash crypto news alerts also like to point out that not only are there no hidden fees they're also backed by the largest names in the industry including winklevoss capital coinbase morgan creek as well as fidelity so to go ahead and take advantage of this 250 dollars crypto bonus with a deposit of 25 dollars or more go ahead and visit blockfi.com forward slash crypto news alerts once again that's blockfi.com forward slash crypto news alerts and let's start stacking those sats shall we? All right. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. We have a lot to cover, so let's just dive right in, shall we? Bitcoin continued to face strong resistance at that 60K level on March 19th as the bull spent the day climbing back from an early morning drop, which briefly pushed Bitcoin into the sub $56,500 range. That dip was very short-lived. Data from Cointelegraph Markets and TradingView shows that after being rejected at that 60K level on March 18th, the Bitcoin price hit a low of $56,268 in the early hours on Friday before the dip buyers returned to help lift the price back above 58500 And right here on your screen, you're looking at the Bitcoin four-hour chart, and we're currently trading just above $59,000. Now, the key Bitcoin price metrics show that despite the struggle faced in order to break past 60 k top traders are growing increasingly bullish as evidenced by an uptick in leveraged long positions over the past weeks as Bitcoin trading range grew tighter. Now, global signs of adoption continue to emerge as the first Bitcoin ETF in Latin America was approved in Brazil, which is a pretty big deal, making it the fourth ETF to be approved in the Western Hemisphere, following three recently launched ETFs in Canada. Now, the bulls are looking to flip 60K from resistance into support. Chad Stainglass, the head of the trading at crypto capital markets firm Crosstower, recently discussed the pressures Bitcoin faced at that 60K critical resistance and pointed out that the top crypto has faced at least 
some resistance at every round number on the way up. That's right. 20K resistance, 30K resistance, 40K, and 50K resistance, so 60K. This is nothing new. As once a level is surpassed, it then becomes a strong support. And according to stained glass, it will take a bit of chipping away to break through 60K with any kind of authority. But that the recent strength displayed by Bitcoin in the face of stiff macro headwinds indicates that there is no reason for the bullish momentum to stop. So let's go BTC to the moon. Stained glass identified the 57 and 58K range as the new support level, which should hold as long as some unexpected event don't derail it, such as new lockdown measures or a significant move in U.S. Treasuries. Stained glass shared the following. The relationship between the dollar and treasuries has flipped 180 degrees as the story has quickly become risk off and flight to quality instead of growth and inflation. So treasuries and dollar are both ticking higher as all risk assets are selling off. That, my friend, is a fact. Now, traditional markets and the weak mix, rising interest rates in the U.S. Treasuries continue to put pressure on the global financial markets, which ended Friday's trading session, mixed as traders begin to worry about the possibility of a rapid rise in inflation, hindering the economy's recovery and causing a near-term shift in the Federal Reserve's ultra-accommodative monetary policy. And the S&P 500 and Dow were unable to overcome early pressures in the market and closed the day down 0.06% and 0.71% respectively, while the NASDAQ displayed early strength against the downturn and managed to close the day up 0.76%. Now, multiple altcoins experienced double-digit gains on Friday, showing that the overall uptrend for the crypto market remains intact as the crypto market cap continues to climb. We have Uniswap, which has been the best-performing top 10 coin, increasing 11.5%, touching $33.50, while Pundi X saw its price explode 50% higher to an intraday high of 0.005. As the top altcoin Ethereum continues to face resistance above $1,800, with data indicating that the bulls may wait until that 1.15 billion worth of Ethereum options expires on March 26th for them to put on a new show of force. And before I break down, Bitcoin hit a multi-trillion dollar market cap in the latest from Max Kaiser, as well as Elon Musk holding $5 billion in Bitcoin, according to Skybridge Capital's Anthony Scaramucci, as well as the latest from Tika Tuari from his prediction back in August, the Bitcoin hit in between sixty dollars and $70,000, which we already have, as well as his next trillion dollar coin. But let's first take a quick look at the overall crypto market. We can see Bitcoin up 0.4% percent trading just above 59,000 looking to retest that critical 60k resistance i feel once we break it the next target in play is going to be 65,000 even 70,000 dollars and as max kaiser has been pointing out 77,000 is his short term target in play we have ethereum up 1.5% trading just above 1800 dollars polkadot looks like it hit a new all time high almost touching 40 dollars yesterday and still up 5% for the day trading above 39 bucks chainlink up 3% trading at 31 dollars and five cents and uniswap up seven percent trading just above 33 dollars all right now let's check out this tweet from max kaiser ultimately bitcoin's price can only get to multi-trillion valuations if the u.s dollar gets destroyed this is a feature not a bug the u.s dollar funds terrorism and drug lords globally bitcoin promotes peace and love touche i couldn't agree more u.s dollar represents war bitcoin represents Peace and love. Now, before I break down the latest from Elon Musk holding five billion in Bitcoin, according to Skybridge Capital's Anthony Scaramucci, as well as breaking down the next trillion dollar coin from Tika Tuari. First, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting just above one point eight trillion with one hundred and thirteen billion in volume in the past twenty four hours. And current Bitcoin dominance is sitting at sixty point two percent, and the current Bitcoin market cap just above one point one trillion dollars. Now, checking out the top gainers within the top one hundred, we have. BitTorrent up a whopping 87% for the day, trading at 0.003 and up 142% for the week. Pundi X up 63% for the day and 193% for the week, trading at 0.007. Sia Coin up 21% for the day and 125% for the week, trading at 2.8 cents. And Tron up 17%, trading at 6.3 cents. Now checking out the top losers within the top 100. We have Chili's down 8% for the day, trading at 60 cents. But this is also one of the top gainers in the past month. We have Theta down 7% for the day, but up 24% for the week, trading at $8.32. Swiss Borg down 5%, trading at $1.30. And Theta Fuel down 5%, trading at $0.34. Cents. Now, out of this list of the biggest gainers and losers, which altcoins in particular are you most bullish on? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now, checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 75 in greed. Yesterday was a 71 in 
in greed. Last week, a 74, and last month, a 91 in extreme greed. And if you're not familiar with the crypto greed and fear index, extreme fear can be a sign investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity, aka BTFD, if you can. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day, shall we? Anthony Scaramucci, the founder of global investment firm Skybridge Capital, says Elon Musk is 1.5 billion purchase. It's just the tip of the iceberg. That's right. In a new tweet, the former White House communications director reveals that Musk is also holding Bitcoin through his aerospace manufacturing company, SpaceX. Checking out his tweet right here. Elon Musk did not stop with Tesla. I understand that SpaceX owns Bitcoin on its balance sheet. Elon Musk owns over $5 billion in Bitcoin via Tesla, SpaceX, and personally, no living person has done more to protect the planet against climate change. And he continues, idea Elon Musk would invest in dirty asset is absurd. Future of Bitcoin mining is renewable energy. Elon Musk sees future. Number one, renewables replace fossil fuels. Number two, Bitcoin demonetizes gold, real estate, equities, and art, plus becomes dominant store value. Answer to energy FUD is Elon Musk. So there you have it. And last month, MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor revealed that SpaceX is among the 7,000 companies that sent representatives to the business intelligence firm's Bitcoin Summit in Miami, an event launched for companies that are interested in buying Bitcoin as a treasury asset. That's where Michael Saylor opened his playbook to show people like Elon Musk how to do what it is that he did to put Bitcoin on his balance sheet. And Scaramucci adds that Elon Musk's multi-million dollar Bitcoin investment is part of his vision to create a world that relies on renewable energy. And according to a recent survey conducted by the Cambridge Center for Alternative Finance, miners of Bitcoin and similar crypto assets use renewables to power 39% of their total energy consumption. And while we're on the topic of Bitcoin energy consumption, here's an article just published that says, Michael Saylor and Max Kaiser counter critics of Bitcoin's energy consumption. I'll give you some of the quotes right here from Michael Saylor. Am I concerned about the use of energy in Bitcoin? No, actually, I feel like Bitcoin is protected by a wall of encrypted energy. And the fact that there's a lot of energy involved, I think is a good thing. It creates security for the network. If we had only 12 servers, we would be trusting those 12 servers to protect $200 billion. I would think that's much riskier. I'm not really interested in finding quick, eloquent, cheap shortcuts to protecting all the money in the world. World. So there you have it. Sailor makes a great point. And then Max Kaiser goes on to share. People say, what backs the dollar? And according to economist Paul Krugman in the New York Times, he says the Pentagon or men with guns. The Pentagon, just to keep the Pentagon fueled with gas for their tanks, jets, etc., is a quarter billion dollars a day. The U.S. foreign policy is, we want you to start using the dollar. And if you don't, we're going to bomb and murder your people. That's our foreign policy. That's what it's been for decades. And that's all very inefficient. I couldn't agree more. Let me know your your thoughts in the comments right down below. And before I break down the latest from Tika Tuari from his prediction back in August that Bitcoin would hit between sixty and seventy thousand dollars sooner than people realized, which did come to fruition as the all time high is now above sixty K and that seventy K is now in play. And before I share the latest details from his upcoming event entitled Crypto's Next Trillion Dollar Coin, first I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below the video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all seven hundred plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also have some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a blog I update daily, which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. And the importance of joining me in all these communities and connecting is just in case I was, God forbid, to get delisted or deplatformed from YouTube or Twitter. It allows us to remain in communication. Also be be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video in the description to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this you can also find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from spotify the home of the joe rogan experience to apple's itunes you can also follow me on twitter my twitter handle is crypto news yes and for those of you on facebook i do have a private crypto facebook group entitled crypto alchemy to join it click this link request to join and i'll be sure to plug you in and for those of you active on telegram i do have a private crypto telegram chat to join it click this link you'll automatically be added and i'm looking forward to connecting with you personally 
on the inside. All right, now let's break down Ticketwari back in August, predicting that Bitcoin would grow as high as sixty to seventy thousand dollars. So yeah, back in August, he did a Zoom call with Chris Lowe of Legacy Research Group, where he made the prediction that Bitcoin would grow as high as sixty to seventy thousand dollars. And he also is quoted sharing, "You will see cryptocurrencies with multi-trillion dollar market caps, like how you see stocks like Amazon and Apple with multi-trillion dollar market caps." Now, keep in mind, back when he made this prediction, Bitcoin was trading between ten and twelve thousand dollars. He's also quoted sharing, I'm not going to paint myself into a corner and say when, but it will happen a lot sooner than most people realize. And lo and behold, it happened a lot sooner than most people realize. And now that we know Tika's track record is spot on, I want to discuss his upcoming event entitled Crypto's Next Trillion Dollar Coin, shall we? The crypto market faces one of the greatest bull markets in recent history as demand for cryptocurrencies, NFTs, non-fungible tokens, and DeFi. Palm Beach Research Group's Tika Tuari, a crypto enthusiast and an analyst, will be released in his prediction of a new crypto, which will soon join Bitcoin and the Trillion Dollar Market Club. And his upcoming event entitled Crypto's Next Trillion Dollar Coin, set to be held on March 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern, Tawari will reveal the next crypto and where he believes the real money will be made in the crypto boom of 2021. Now, personally, I will not be missing this event. I never miss a live event of Tika Tawari. He rarely does them. And the previous ones that he did, the gains were phenomenal, to say the least. And the fact he's going to be revealing this coin absolutely free makes it a no-brainer. And if you're not familiar with Tika Tawari, he's a former hedge fund manager and Wall Street executive who has made a name among crypto circles. He has been a regular contributor to Fox Business Network. He has appeared on Fox News Channel, CNBC, ABC's Nightline, and The Daily Show with Jon Stewart and international television networks. Tika was an early Bitcoin adopter, having bought his first Bitcoin at $428 in 2016 and calling a trillion dollar market cap even back then. So guess what? Wouldn't you have loved to got involved in Bitcoin back in 2016, front running all this massive institutional demand? Well, you still have that opportunity to do it on Tika's next trillion dollar coin. That's right, because he's going to be revealing it live March 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern. And to register an RSVP, click the link in the show notes below the video in the description. It's going to take you here and simply enter your best email address and click the button that says sign me up. Make no mistake, we're in a millionaire making crypto boom today. Bitcoin has exploded to all time highs, soaring past 10, 20, and even 50 and even $60,000. Every media outlet is talking about it. Every so called expert is telling you to buy it. But once again, they're late to the party. And if you listen to them now, it can cost you a fortune. That's why this event is so critical to attend it live to get the info right when it's released to everybody else. Tika is also going to be doing a live Q&A. You're not going to want to miss it. And Bitcoin breaking the 1 trillion barrier sent other cryptos into escape velocity, delivering stunning returns such as 1200%, 1700%, 3200%, almost 4000%, 17000%, and 38% thousand percent. And while we're not promising gains this high, nothing in the market is certain. Incredibly, these are actual returns from some of the best picks in Tika's Palm Beach Confidential Research Service. So go ahead and click that link. It'll take you here. Enter your best email address. Click the button that says sign up and it's going to take you here and you have the opportunity to get on Tika Tuari's RSVP text message list. And once you do so, you're going to be able to access some VIP bonuses absolutely free, including free access to content from the Crypto Corner, which is valued at $2,500 $2,500 as well as his concierge text reminder service. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that link and I look forward to seeing you in this live event and I'll see you on tomorrow's episode. Peace. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. And real quick, before I go, today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, BlockFi, where you can put your crypto to work and earn up to 8.6% APY with a BlockFi interest account. There's a special promo going on right now where you can get up to $250 as a crypto bonus for free with a deposit of $25 or more in crypto. To take advantage of this, visit my direct referral link, which is BlockFi.com forward slash crypto news alerts also like to point out that not only are there no hidden fees they're also backed by the largest names in the industry including winklevoss capital coinbase morgan creek as well as fidelity so to go ahead and take advantage of this 250 and fifty crypto bonus with a deposit of 25 dollars or more go ahead and visit blockfi.com forward slash crypto news alerts once again that's blockfi.com forward slash crypto news alerts and let's start stacking those sats shall we